661, I Love to Tell the Story. I love to tell the story of unseen things above, of Jesus and his glory, of Jesus and his love. I love to tell the story because I know it's true. It satisfies my longings as nothing else would do. I love to tell the story, twill be my theme and glory to tell the old, old story of Jesus and his love. I love to tell the story, how pleasant to repeat. What seems each time I tell it, more wonderfully sweet. I love to tell the story, for some have never heard. The message of salvation from God's own holy word. I love to tell the story, twill be my theme in glory, to tell the old, old story of Jesus and his love. I love to tell the story for those who know it best. Seems hungering and thirsting to hear it like the rest. And when in scenes of glory I sing the new, new song, I'll sing the old, old story that I have loved so long. I love to tell the story, twill be my theme in glory, to tell the old, old story of Jesus and his love. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for the good news of Christ Jesus. Use our lives to boldly proclaim your good news made known in Christ. Use our words and our actions to reflect the goodness of your love. In the name of Christ we pray. Amen. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and shine within your people here. Joyous light of heavenly glory, loving glow of God's own face. You who sing creation's story, shine on every land and race. Now as evening falls around us, we shall raise our songs to you. God of daybreak, God of shadows, come and light our hearts anew. In the stars that grace the darkness, in the blazing sun of dawn, in the light of peace and wisdom, we can hear your quiet song. Love that fills 
the night with wonder, love that warms the weary soul, love that bursts all chains asunder, set us free and make us whole. You who made the heaven splendor, every dancing star of night, make us shine with gentle justice, let us each reflect your light. Mighty God of all creation, gentle Christ who lights our way, loving spirit of salvation, lead us on to endless day. May God be with you all, and also with you. Let us sing our thanks to God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Blessed are you, creator of the universe. From old you have led your people by night and day. May the light of your Christ make our darkness bright, for your word and your presence are the light of our pathways, and you are the light and life of all creation. Amen. Let my prayer rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my fans as an offering to you. O oh God, I call to you, come to me now. O oh, hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. Keep watch within me, God, deep in my heart. May the light of your love be burning bright. Let my prayer rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. All praise to the God of all, creator of life. All praise be to Christ and the spirit of love. Let my prayer rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us so that in union with all creation we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Our lesson for this evening is from the letter of Philippians chapter 1. I want you to know, beloved, that what has happened to me has actually hap helped to spread the gospel so that it has become known throughout the whole imperial guard and to everyone else that my imprisonment is for Christ. And most of the brothers and sisters, having been made confident in the Lord by my imprisonment, dare to speak the word with greater boldness and without fear. Some proclamation Christ, proclaim Christ from envy and rivalry, but others from goodwill. These proclaim Christ out of love, knowing that I have been put here for the defense of the gospel. The others proclaim Christ out of selfish ambition and sincerely, not sincerely, but intending to increase my suffering in my imprisonment. What does it matter? 
Just this, that Christ is proclaimed in every way, whether out of false mo motives or true, and in that I rejoice. Yes, and I will continue to rejoice, for I know that through your prayers and the help of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, this will turn out for my deliverance. It is my eager expectation and hope that I will not be put to shame in any way, but that by speaking with all boldness, Christ will be exalted now as always in my body, whether by life or by death. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The introduction to this third midweek theme is as followers. Lent invites us to go inward and become more contemplative. This is an important part of the Lenten journey. But Jesus did not die to keep it a secret. His death and resurrection are meant to be the good news proclaimed from the housetops. Apostle Paul found courage to boldly proclaim Christ despite imprisonment and threats of death. He even discovered how God used the negative experiences of his life to proclaim Christ. The gathering hymn for this evening is an old and familiar hymn that focuses on telling the old, old story. The hymn writer focuses on those who have never heard the story as well as those who know it best. This is where the call comes to us, that we have a responsibility to look for opportunities to share it with those who have never heard in a language that is understood by people with no background knowledge. But it is also a reminder to us that we all are to hear it again and again. Because as life and circumstances change, we can be overwhelmed with grief or worry or things over which we have no control. The story never changes, but we do. And sometimes a little reminder of what the old story is about becomes the thing that's, that is needed to lift us up into the atmosphere where once again we can be confronted with the wonder of God's love and grace revealed through Jesus Christ. A very important fact that sometimes gets lost in the idea of proclamation is in the title of tonight's worship, Word and Deed. It reads that we are to proclaim the good news of God in Christ through word and deed. And that means that just not our telling the story of Christ is important, but how we make that message a part of our life and living that is being watched, and this sometimes speaks more loudly than the words we use. How do we use language when we are not around people who share our faith? How do we treat other people, particularly those that are on the margin of life, as so-called? How do we make decisions, and so forth? People know we are affiliated with the church. We are often watched for how we act or live rather than the words of the old, old story. In other words, how we live our life and the language we use can be a very significant part of sharing this important story and having it believed. Excuses are often used explaining why we cannot proclaim with words. We don't know enough about the Bible or the story. We don't want to be thought of as being super religious and so on. Proclaiming does not require a seminary education. It merely is the story of your faith life and what the good news means to you and how it is, has impacted your life. Your growth in faith and how you've experienced it leads to a desire to share it with others and that is proclamation. Humbly, you share the joy of that experience with its ups and downs. That's what Paul was doing. He shared what had happened to turn his life around 180 degrees. He also was able to make a witness to his faith by the things the proclamation was causing to happen to him because of his witness. In the setting of our reading for tonight, he is in prison. He has been beaten and driven out of towns. People have tried to kill him. However, he considers all these difficulties 
as a witness to the great value of what God has revealed to him and done for him in his turnaround that he has experienced. Thus, he continues to proclaim the power of this story that has turned his life around from persecution to proclamation. We are reminded that through Paul's writings that the message does not depend on who proclaims it or their motives. Luke 9.49 is the account of the disciples coming to Jesus reporting that they saw someone casting out demons in Jesus' name. And they said, we tried to stop him because he does not follow with us. But Jesus said to his disciples, do not stop them, for whoever is not against you is for you. Yes, Lent is meant to be used for contemplating the suffering of Christ and our contribution to causing that suffering. But it is also meant to make us stronger in our faith life. So as we grow in faith through contemplation, we become more confident in our faith and proclamation becomes a more natural part of our life. As we become more committed to the way of Christ, that is what people are going to see. And as the message becomes more and more a part of our life, that life is the best witness that we have to offer. It is though the Spirit of God fills us with the good news and then takes on more and more of our life and living. I believe St. Francis is right when he says, proclaim the gospel at all times, and if necessary, use words. So as we move through the Lenten season, may we think on the Christ and his teachings. We recognize that whatever we say or do can be seen in a positive way or a negative witness. May our prayer be that our words and deeds will always point to and reveal the person of Christ, trusting that our living will present opportunities to speak the gospel as well as living it. Amen. Three, spread, O oh spread, almighty word. Spread, O oh spread, almighty word, spread the reign of God the Lord. Send forth our Creator's call, heaven's gifts extend to all. Tell of our Redeemer's grace, who to save our human race and to pay rebellion's price gave himself as sacrifice tell of god the spirit given now to guide us on to heaven strong and holy just and true working both to will and do lord of harvest great and kind rouse to action heart and mind let the gathering nations all see your light and heed your call The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. An angel went from God to a town called Nazareth, to a woman whose name was Mary. The angel said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored, for God is with you. You shall bear a child, and his name shall be Jesus, the chosen one of God most high. And Mary said, 
I am the servant of my God. I live to do your will. My soul proclaims your greatness, O God, and my spirit rejoices in you. You have looked with love on your servant here and blessed me all my life through. Great and mighty are you, O Holy One, strong is your kindness evermore. How you favor the weak and lowly one, humbling the proud of heart. You have cast the mighty down from their thrones and uplifted the humble of heart. You have filled the hungry with wondrous things and left the wealthy no part. Great and mighty are you, O faithful one, strong is your justice, strong your love. As you promised to Sarah and Abraham, kindness forevermore. My soul proclaims your greatness, O God, and my spirit rejoices in you. You have looked with love on your servant here and blessed me all my life through. Hold us in love, in peace, in peace, we pray to you. God of mercy, hold us in love, for peace and salvation, we pray to you. God of mercy, hold us in love for peace between nations, for peace between peoples. God of mercy, hold us in love for us who are gathered to worship and praise you. God of mercy, hold us in love for all of your servants who live and your gospel. God of mercy, hold us in love for all those who govern that justice might guide them. God of mercy, hold us in love for all those who labor in service to others. God of mercy, hold us in love. Grant weather that nourishes all of creation. God of mercy, hold us in love. Keep watch on our loved ones and keep us from danger. God of mercy, hold us in love. For all the beloved who rest in your mercy, God of mercy, hold us in love. Help us, comfort us all of our days. Keep us, hold us, gracious God. Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness in life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless our God, praise and thanks to you. May God, Creator, bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever light for our lives. May the Spirit of love be our guide and path for all of our days. Amen. 